that you girls are courting. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into this next damn reaction, shall we? Now, Ku Uno underscore nine. Shout outs to you. These superheroes are, not is, are murderers. And in proper English within that, my guy. Not, not is, is, are. This plural. <laughs> so without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead. Let's jump into this video, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so I was watching that new Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man trailer, and my phone froze right here, and I'm like, damn, damn, that's a little crazy, is it not? And what's worse, man, once my phone unfreezes, the damn brick explodes on bro's temple, and I'm like, no way, bro, it's not deceased. But this just got me thinking to how superheroes be like, nah, I don't kill, and then leaving Baba Booey. like this. Talk about, nah, he not dead, he just knocked out a little bit, like my brother in Christ. Any other day of the week, that brother would be sitting at the pearly gates. Like, nah, man, these superheroes is thugs. And I got a couple examples to show y'all just to prove yeah, my Batman point, be man. like, For uh, Batman, um, the Powerpuff Girls, um, especially, especially heavy on the Powerpuff Girls, man. You see the way how this is they whoop Mojo Jojo? I was like, gang, like, like, dang, like, like, and what's crazy is that y'all making me sympathize with him a little bit. Because, like, this is, y'all are human. He's a monkey, bro. This is what it is you do to monkeys? <laughs> and Captain America throwing that, no, Captain America choking people. Now, it's not throwing the shield, it's him choking people, little Jack Jack. <laughs> him too. But he's a baby. But I'll 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 let it go because it is he's a baby. Ben ten, Spider Man not being a friendly neighborhood. That too. That that too. Homelander doesn't care. The fact that Homelander is. I don't think Homelander is a hero. I'm sorry. I don't think he is. I I would rather say it is. He's a crash out before it is. I say he's a hero. Superman, if you killed someone he cared about, that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is why I be, I like I fuck with anti heroes, bro. Cause at least it is they don't be on that like, oh yeah, I'm Captain Save the Day or I'm here to save the day da -da -da -da, and whatnot. But you out here, you murking people. Yo, yo body list is high, gang. Daredevil, Blade, Deadpool, yeah. First, we starting off with these three hoodlums, these three hooligans, the Powerpuff Girls. I Told you. Told you, bro. Told you. I know y'all remember the time the Powerpuff Girls broke into prison and beat the living hell out of Mojo oh. Jojo. I mean, god damn, look at this frame. Whole ass foot and mouth. God damn. 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 Yeah. I don't know who foot this was in particular because I don't remember. I, I remember watching this episode, but I don't know who foot this is. But you know, nobody deserves whole foot and mouth while you beating they ass. <laughs> and after they finish putting no, these I nasty I ass pots and pans, the mix, the blood, whatever you want to call it, onto Mojo Jojo. Persona they soundtrack clears here. Eh? Got his brain on the concrete. Brain. They cracked little bro's helmet. Got his brain. Look at how he looks, bro. You gave this man two black eyes, brain matter out. That's at least three teeth. Three broken uh, bro broken fingers, dislocated jaw. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm sure it is a couple body shots too. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. I bet he was just smiling and the Papa girls just beat him up for no reason. He was just smiling, walking down the street. Nah, he was in he was in jail. He literally was in his cell. Minding his business, bro. They, if anything, they're the villains here. You you uh, you didn't even come through the gate. You you flew in and created three big ass holes in the ceiling. Yeah, y'all sound y'all look a lot like criminals to me. Brain on the concrete. Brain on the concrete. Like, look at me. 
Look at them and then look at Mojo Jojo's brain in the concrete and tell me that this nigga is not dead. Brain on the concrete and you want me to believe Mojo Jojo is not deceased? You mean to tell me Mojo Jojo is not looking up at the Powerpuff Girls? Cause let's face it, bro is not going to have it. Like damn, that ass beating was crazy. The whole brain on the concrete and you want me to look at the Powerpuff Girls? Like yeah, those are some stand up superheroes. But this ass beating in particular, from the Powerpuff Girls on to Mojo Jojo. It felt like there was a little bit of rage into that. So I was like, damn, what did Mojo Jojo do to make what did them, do niggas, to make them that niggas mad? Dead. So I watched the whole episode and they got Mojo Jojo's brain spilling out of his noggin onto the ground over some goddamn candy. <laughs> This is this is why it is that I say can candy's a drug, bro. Sugar is a drug. Cause, they, <laughs> Cause there's no way it is over doing this over candy. You're a crash out. A complete and utter crash out. For some candy? Yeah, nah. I know adults probably watch that episode and say, I nope, this is the reason why it is we not giving our kids candy. And I can understand that. For you to crash out like this? Hell no, bro. But wait, it gets worse. Cause at the beginning of the episode, the Powerpuff Girls, they save the city. They do their whole hullabaloo. The mayor gives them candy and them girls is basically high out of their minds. They want more candy from the mayor, but the mayor's like, y'all only get a piece of candy when y'all save the day. So they fly back home and now they're just fiending. Wait for a call on the phone and nothing happens. So you know what they do? These delinquents, these thugs, these ruffians, they find Mojo Jojo and they propose a deal. This deal is you get to destroy Townsville, we put you in jail, we break you out. We do this whole song and dance all over again. Now, it's not like they're going easy on Mojo Jojo, man. They're beating his ass each and every wait, 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 wait. time. Over some goddamn candy, by the way. And chat, guess how many times the Powerpuff Girls they did, did this, this whole lot. song and dance with Mojo Jojo? They did this a lot. Don't worry, I'll give you a little bit of time. They did this a lot. They did this 21 times. They beat this nigga's ass, broke him out, and put him back in jail 21 times. This sounds like criminals to me. They sound like criminals to me. It's, it, they, they sound like criminals to me, dang it. And it sound like it is that Mojo Jojo can able to take an ass whooping at this point. Because if you don't get your ass whooped, it's bad enough you get your ass whooped on a regular episode. But you mean to tell me it is you took 21 extra ass whoopings, bro? Somebody go ahead and give him some therapy. Some uh, physical therapy and occupational therapy at this point. Because he gonna need both at this point. Both of y'all some damn menaces. At this rate, take him into the insane asylum at this point. Because it is you, you, you like pain, bro. You like getting your ass whooped by some kids. <laughs> like, by some kids. Cause there's no way Mojo Jojo and Easy Lick, nah, like you, you gotta, you gotta be real twisted in the head to take some ass whoopings like that, bro. Like that, no, no, sir, no, sir. Now there very well could be many more times that we didn't see, but at the very least, it's 21, and that's still an egregious ass number. Like, is this the same day? Did this happen over a short course of time, bro? Is this like a week span? Like, how long did y'all do this? I'm not giving these hood rats the benefit of doubt, man. Nah, hood rats I'm is saying crazy. They did this all in the day. Not only did they enable Mojo Jojo to start messing up their town, but they took their anger out on bro over some goddamn candy. And the mayor's not saving any of this. He enabled the Powerpuff Girls crazy style. And then Mojo Jojo gonna shed a tear and Blossom gonna be like, uh, look at what we've become, what you've become, nigga. This is who you've always been. Type, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, call for what it is. You've been this way, gang. You've been this type of, you've been this way. And the mayor is not safe neither because you really sat there and fed into, like, hey, listen, you're like, you ain't think for quite a bit of time, like, they was out here saving the day a little too much than usual. Like, hey, I just gave you some candy. Y'all saved the day? Well, dang, there, there, there must be something going on within the city. 
as a mayor, you know, I should be paying attention to what the fuck is going on with my, with my city, right? I should be paying attention to that. You are, you are to blame for within this, bro. Lock the Powerpuff Girls and the mayor up. And I can make this a whole video about the Powerpuff Girls being insane murderers. I mean, just look at how Bubbles is carrying oh. Mojo Jojo to the mayor. You're telling me bro's not dead? Like, there's no way bro's not dead. They swapped his body out with his cousin next episode or something, because there's no way. And while you're at it, go <laughs> ahead and lock the Powerpuff Girls up with Mojo Jojo too, man. They asses need hard times. Now, next up on the chopping block, it's kind of three entries, but they're all from the same game. And that's Insomniac Spider-Man, specifically oh. Spider-Man 2. Now, first off, it's gonna be a little different because not only am I blaming Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Miles Morales, I'm blaming you because I'm gonna play Me? this clip, but I'm gonna be watching you the whole Me? time because I know some of you sick freaks be doing this in y'all spare time, laughing, chuckling. <laughs> and y'all over here just be juggling a dead man's body, and for what? This is how you get your sick kicks, brother? You do this sick, nasty ass work? At the 14 second mark, bro is cooked. Matter of fact, at the 14 second mark, you crippled bro, and now you're bullying him. You're an ableist. Congratulations, you feel good about yourself? Now let's talk about some of these finishers, bro, cause Peter and Moz be doing these good niggas time, dirty, man. Like peep this one, Peter jumps in the air, slangs this nigga up into the air, webs himself through the Drop sees them as hard as he can in a goddamn chest. But hold on a second, he's not done there. His ass jumps off of their body, webs they chest, does a full 360 and slams their ass on the ground. But Damn. look at that goddamn bounce, nigga, you're dead. And it's not like his body fell some high distance to where it warranted a bounce. Even then, that's still a little crazy. He bounced because his body got through as hard as it could at a goddamn floor. There's no walking this off in the hospital. Brother, you're a goner. But take a Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's 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 a crash out in a suit. Wow. I you know, I it never really dawned on me like that to where it's just like like, yeah, we're supposed to be saving the day and, like, beating the bad guys. But at some at some point in time, we really got to think about it is you putting in a lot of force into somebody that's not, you know what I mean? Get that to a villain that deserved it at this point. But that, that that's unwarranted. Take a look at this finisher, right? Peter kicks bro up into the air. Okay, Damn. that's cool. Oh, wait a minute. Why that back turn? And then he kicks them as hard as he can and they got them spine. I mean, turn that nigga spine into a seed and kicked them so hard. Now, peep this one out, bro. Peter just swiftly scoops bro up into the air. But now that they're 15 feet up in the air, he pumps bro's whole entire face and just slams him head first onto the ground like that nigga's gone. Oh, but I'm not done, man. Miles, bring, bring your ass, ass here. Your ass is a murderer, too. I mean, just look at this, bro. Mmm, Kamehameha to the chest. Not only Kamehameha to the chest, it lifted bro's ass up into the air, but Miles was not finished there. Webb slung to that nigga, grabbed him by the chest, and threw him down as hard as he could on the ground. Damn! Webb slung to that nigga, grabbed him by the chest, and threw him down. This is insane. This this is an insane angle. This is an insane. The way how it is, you got this thing way back here. Just the just to launch this nigga is insane, bro. That Miles, hey, listen, Miles, you're not even safe neither, gang. This wow, wow. This being this high up in the air, this is a a, a smooth 30, 30 to forty feet up in the air, gang. Valid crash out to be honest. Down as hard as he could. On the I have no idea who's surviving that, bro. I'm pretty sure that Kamehameha killed him first. And then let's take a look at this one, bro. Miles kicks bro up into the air, jumps on top of him and pause. Look at this, friend. My brother in Christ, this is pure electricity He's gonna get dumped on this nigga. Who's surviving that? This is like getting struck by lightning five times consecutively. Okay, this one's not as bad. He kicks bro up into the air just like he did in the other one. Starts charging up his venom lightning and 
Oh, nah. He has the cat Spider-Man be an accessory to murder. And then Miles Morales be like, hee hee ha ha, look at my fuck ass haircut under this mask. Like, who is this? Don't get me started on the haircut, please. Murderer for real. And I haven't even began to talk about Venom Suit Spider-Man oh, and Miles and Peter's tag team finishers. And I don't know which one to start off with first because finishers aside, Symbiote Suit Spider-Man was borderline just killing niggas in the main game. But the way Peter and Miles be doing these niggas and these tag team finishers is damn near as egregious. So I decided I'm gonna start off with Symbiote first. It's not a finisher, bro, but it's a cutscene. Just peep this. Chapel, quick. That was fun. Yeah, I see this. dead in his eyes after he committed attempted murder on his ass and said you should, you ice, should that. ice that i yep. beg your pardon that nigga pete went off the deep end but that's enough of the cutscenes, bro let's talk about these finishers first one we talk about is that mean ass three piece combo he be giving the niggas dog i mean just look at this i felt like Damn. i was getting hit through the screen Bro got sent flying back so hard he knocked the nigga behind him away. And you're telling me he's not cooking? You're telling me he didn't crack nor puncture ribs, organs, lungs, bro? That brother is a goner. And then we got this where bro does a little slide, encapsulates their whole head with the symbiote, and slams them on the ground. But pause. Zoom in a little bit. Y'all see that? That's the ground cracked off of this nigga body getting chunked into it. I'm gonna say it again, that- CT. That, that was, that, wow, that's, that's, that's the definition of CTE, man. Yeah, no, GG's, GG's. Is the ground cracked after a nigga's body got chunked into it. Now, believe you me, I don't think using a nigga's body like a damn sledgehammer to crack open some concrete would mean that said person was alive. The force at whence you would have to throw said person to crack open concrete would not leave them alive. And you expect me to believe that bro just got up after this, went to the bar, and threw a couple of brewskis back? Nah, right. that nigga dead, bro. Oh. I got one more and you can move on to the tag team finishes. Now, just watch this last one, bro. Me and him have some unfinished business. Do I Damn. have to say anything? This nigga's head bounced off the pocket like a basketball. He is cooked. If Dick Grayson could get hit in the back of the head and do a little, whoa, fall down and hit the back of his head on the smallest pebble ever and die, you expect me to believe full force knocking the nigga brain into the concrete like a basketball and they're walking that off like it was nothing? Nah. Hey, gang. Hey, hey. I hear you. I hear what you're saying. Why you gotta keep re replaying it? Why you gotta keep replaying this over and over again, bro? We were watching the CTE so many times while you explained this. Ah, uh, brother, throw that nigga Peter and Rikers with the same criminals he locked up, cause this is ridiculous. Now, there's a lot of tag team finishers in this Ooh, game. Let me sit up. Some with Miles and Black Cat, some with Peter and Harry, some with Miles and Yuri, some with Peter and Yuri, but the ones I'm talking about specifically, are the ones where it's Miles and Peter juggling niggas for no reason. Imagine you're just committing crime, right? Regular, regular day of stealing. You see red and blue Spider-Man pull up like, wow. Well, I'm probably finna get my ass beat. Might as well go ahead and take these lumps. He slides under you. You're like, mm, okay. I see what's about to happen. And then black and red Spider-Man pulls up and uppercuts you with the nastiest lightning uppercut you've ever done seen in your life. Now you're in the air not knowing what the hell is going on. The other Spider-Man pulled up out of nowhere, and now I'm 14 feet up into the air. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Red and blue Spider-Man jumped up in the air, too. Oh, I see what's going on. As he lifts you up, it. pulls you towards him, and kicks you in the gut as hard as he can. Guys, what did the two of y'all need to do that for? Y'all did not need to do any of that, brother. I promise you, one of you was just enough. 
Or imagine this, you're going to go punch red and blue Spider-Man, but you get kicked in your head crazy style. He then webs you in the oh, chest, pulls you close to him like Scorpion. You're like, oh, okay, I see what's about to happen. I'm about to get Come knocked here. out, lay on my ass. But then you just- This fucking clip still sends me, bro. It was done so well. There's no reason why it is that Mark snuffed tails like this, like, or Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario. Scorpion, you're like, oh, okay. I see what's about to happen. I'm about to get knocked out. Lay on Damn. my ass. But then you just <laughs> Damn. Damn. This is this this is insane. Slept, bro. It's knocked out, bro. Oh poor tails. This is lore accurate. <laughs> this is lore accurate. I hate to say it, Tails, but fudge. If Mario didn't do a Sonic, would have? Nah, that's crazy. Probably wonder how I got here. What do what did Tails do? Hey, you know? I feel you got webbed on your ankle. You're like, wait a minute. How can he web me on the back of the ankle and he's right there? And now you're hoisted up 10 feet in the air because both the spider man done launched your ass in the air getting ready to drop you down with the might of oh my God, it's the meme. And look at you, lay down on the ground, knocked out. Got jumped by two niggas that had no business jumping you. You're just a regular goon. But that's really about all the Insomniac Spider-Man murders. I can say that he's committed. And I feel like I've talked about bro long enough, so let's move on to something else. Now, I love my son, Daredevil, greatest superhero of all time. But in episode two, this nigga Matt dropped a fire extinguisher from the very top floor all the way to the bottom floor on this nigga's noggin. Now, if you told me right then and there that bro died, I would have believed you. Or if he survived, I still would have believed you either way. It doesn't stop there. Matt and Claire drag this nigga to the rooftop, string his ass up. Matthew starts beating the piss out of bro, interrogating him Batman style. And then Claire's like, hey, stab this nigga in the eye. Like, are we being dead ass here? But we're. And he literally was like, that's a great idea. And just went ahead and. Oh my God, bro. Still not done with this nigga because Matthew pushes this nigga off the building into a damn dumpster. And bro had to use a super duper hearing to check and see if bro's heart was still beating. And luckily for Matthew, it was bro. But any other nigga any other day is taking all this damage done to them, getting dropped off a building and dying. Matthew, I love you, brother, but you're a little cuckoo. But that's really all for Daredevil. Let's go on to an honorable mention before we get to the last person for the video. And this honorable mention is Optimus Prime. Now, Optimus isn't a superhero. I mean, yeah. If you seen the way, hey, didn't it? Didn't Optimus be like, hey, listen, like he, he's not really for all for killing, but man, the way how it is that he'll go ahead and rip through a motherfucker, man, to, to shreds, to pieces. Optimus Prime, what did he do? He saved the day. Another crash out. No, nor is he a nigga that doesn't kill. But I'm just mainly talking about bro. Freedom is the Freedom right, is right, of, right all of all sentient, sentient beings. beings. Rip the fallen face ah! clean off. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Decapitation. This is the same movie he said that speech, by the way. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. I'm gonna rip your face off with hooks. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Cuts locked down in half from the bottom up to the top down. Like this nigga's a psychopath, and I'm just talking about the Bay Formers movies, man. Do y'all not remember the way he was flicking niggas down in Transformers 86? And I know the oh, Vietnam yeah. talk about Optimus Prime and Transformers Prime like he is King Vaughn. Also, a more recent example is how he was doing niggas in Transformers 1. Bro, transforming mid-air, twisting a nigga's body off until they died. Like, this is a psychopath to the bone. But that's really all I really wanted to yeah, talk about for yeah. Prime. Let's go on to our final entry in this video. And that is the Batman. Yeah, now, absolutely. I was just gonna go over absolutely, bro. Pick your poison. It don't. It don't matter. Cartoon, the movie, both. It, both crash out. And especially within recent timing, that man. That man will go ahead and just you know, just whoop. Just out here, just whooping people's ass, bro. For a bunch of Arkham Batman clips, but I'm really not. Gonna Pick do your that. poison, so no Ivy. Arkham Batman. Where is 
see? He's gone to see the little man, the penguin. <laughs> he supplied the safe houses for the attack. The knight's gone to pay him for his services. That's it. That's all I know. Damn. No. No, no more. I remember. No, please. No. 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 Remember something else? He uses a refrigeration company as a front. The trucks distribute weapons throughout the city. What's it called? North. North Refrigeration. Thank you. Did all that. The man gave you all the information it is that you need, and you still kill him. In insane work. Oh my god, what are these? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm... Okay, hold on, hold on. I had to go through the, that. That so many. Nah, he just asleep. Now, the version of Batman I wanted to talk about today is a newer iteration, and it's absolute Batman. But before I talk about bros' attempted murders, let me get the glaze off my chest. This is the coolest nigga all time. I mean, like, look at this. That big ass mangled bat symbol on his chest is just an axe, bro. Like, what are we doing here, man? Also, let's just talk about Bruce Wayne in this universe for a second, bro. Look at this big buff ass nigga. What does he need a suit for, man? This is like if Z Broly pulled up wearing armor. You don't need that, bro. There's nothing on your body you need to protect. I could crack a bat upside bro's skull right now and he'd be completely fine. I think the bat would take more damage matter of fact. But now that I popped it off, I just gotta say, this nigga's a lunatic. Batman in this universe is broke, got no money, and decided, yeah, I'm gonna start killing niggas. Which I think is even more crazy, because regular Batman in most comics and movie iterations, it just looks like he'd be dead ass be killing people. But I saw this Batman pull an axe out of his chest and cut a nigga's hand off. What do you need that for, brother? And it don't help that this nigga's big ass stature does not hinder his flexibility. Because how did this big ass nigga do this kick right here, brother? Batman in this issue was fighting this gang called the Party Animals. Just a group of niggas going around killing niggas in Gotham. Sounds completely normal. Tell me why. This nigga's Batmobile. It's death on wheels, bro. This is the Tonka truck you be talking about in his music, brother. Who are you fighting that you need to pull this out on them? Not right. only that, bro can pull out the little bat ears on top of his body and stab niggas with them. In the comic, Alfred oh was God. like, you make these cuts so brutal, but yet you are missing every artery. Nigga, you expect me to believe that? This ain't a doctor's scalpel he's using. It's not a butter knife. These are trench daggers he stabbed this nigga with. You expect me to be like, oh yeah, no, he's completely fine after that. Nah. Like, who is this nigga Batman fighting in this universe for, for him to need axes, a goddamn building for a Batmobile, and knives? Is this nigga finna fight Darkseid his whole damn run? But other right. than that, that's really it. Also, absolute Wonder Woman, Diana, what do you, why do you have that big ass sword for? I haven't read issue one for Absolute Wonder Woman or Absolute Superman, so I'm gonna get to those. But that big ass sword on Diana is crazy. I know she's gonna start killing niggas. But other than that, that's really it. That's all for the video. Moral of the story is, go see a therapist. That might solve a lot of your issues. But other than that, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye. Oh, man. You said smash. Next question. Uh, cool Uno underscore <laughs> nine. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for the video. Shout out to y'all in the chat. Shout outs to you at home. And I will catch y'all in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>